Hey guys, I'm back with another candle review, and this time around for the 18 ounce coconut shortbread candle from Homeworks by Harry Slacken, purchased on QVC. Uh, the notes on this read a blend of fresh coconut milk, buttery shortbread, lemon zest, and vanilla. So this came highly, highly recommended by multiple people. They kept telling me I need to go buy it and try it because it's amazing. Uh, so I finally pulled the trigger on it. They had free shipping and handling on this, plus it was discounted to like $37. So I was like, you know what? That doesn't seem too bad for the two candles. So I did finally buy it, and here we are. Uh, so yeah, I have to say, probably uh, based on expectations. It's not quite as amazing as I thought it would be, uh, but it's still delicious. I'm still enjoying it, but it was just, it came so highly recommended that my expectations were probably like sky high on this candle. I'm still enjoying it, but it's a kind of a little bit more basic than I had hoped for, but it's still nice. It's still delicious and it's still like a nice candle to have in the background. So basically what does it smell like? It's just very, very, very similar to other fragrances that I have in my collection. So it kind of seems redundant in that case that it's not super unique or new to me, but you know, it is what it is. So what I get most, uh, first and foremost, is like a buttery shortbread fragrance in there. There's heaps of butter in there that I really enjoy. It's the same butter that you get in like coconut cake or toasted vanilla cupcake, uh, similar to like a cupcake or a cake type of fragrance, something like, you know, baking in the oven, shortbread cookie, whatever it is. It's a buttery bakery fragrance. It's what you get first and foremost. Uh, and then after that comes a little bit of a coconut fragrance. The coconut is not actually super prominent. Uh, I Actually naming this coconut shortbread, you would imagine there's more coconut in it. The coconut is actually quite subtle. Um, there's just a little bit of like a nuttiness in there that gives it an extra oomph or just an extra bakeriness to that sort of buttery shortbread that I was talking about. So there's a subtle coconut presence in there uh, that can still pick out the coconut. It's just not as strong as you would imagine it to be based on the name. But then what you get is quite a bit of a lemon zest. The lemon zest is actually quite strong. It really kicks in when you're going to burn it. It's really noticeable and really present. It kind of reminds me of a limoncello cupcake in the sense that that was like a sugar lemon limoncello fragrance mixed with like a cupcake note. And this also has a prominent lemon zest in there as well. It's like a sugar lemon, so it's not cleaner at all. It's just like a nice, sweet, pleasant, like you would imagine, like a lemon zest, zest that was drizzled over shortbread. And it really does smell like a shortbread fragrance. And that's pretty much what this smells like. Um, it's just very similar to other things that I've had before. Uh, coconut cake is very, very similar to this as well. Coconut cake had maybe a little bit more of a caramelized sugar or caramel component. Uh, there's still a little bit of a caramelized feel in the coconut shortbread fragrance, but a little bit more prominent and coconut cake. And then coconut cake just is pretty much the same minus the lemon zest note that's so prominent. And the coconut is a little bit stronger in coconut cake than it is in coconut shortbread, uh, but still very similar to that. It's also very similar to toasted vanilla cupcake and the same, once again, very buttery bakery component. Uh, also you get a nutty, I think there's like a pecan note uh, in both coconut cake and like toasted vanilla cupcake. There's like a nutty note in there. Uh, so that also is shared with that. And there's also another caramelized sugar component to toasted vanilla cupcake as well. So it's kind of similar to that, except that one is not as heavy on the coconut or lemon. And then finally, it's also kind of similar to limoncello cupcake in the sense, once again, that this has lemon zest to mix with a bakery note. So it's kind of like they just took notes from toasted vanilla cupcake, limoncello cupcake, and uh, coconut cake. And then it, like coconut shortbread came out of that as like a, like a different balance of all those notes. And it's just that I own all three of those previous fragrances that this doesn't seem super necessary to have in my collection just because I have all those other fragrances before. But if you don't have it and you kind of just want the best of all three worlds of those candles, then maybe check, check out Coconut Shortbread. It's still delicious. It's still like a nice buttery, like something baking in the oven. It smells authentic. It's not overly artificial or grody or anything like that. So the fragrance is still delicious and uh, pleasant nonetheless, but just kind of redundant. So I think that's where my expectations fall a little bit short from what I was hoping for. I also feel like this is like a good blender or like a bl baseline candle. It's kind of like what like the baseline of a bakery fragrance would be or like what a blender fragrance could be. Uh, and I'm like kind of hoping that there was a little bit something like more extra to it. But sometimes you just want a basic juicy buttery cookie shortbread fragrance. So I really can't knock it for that. But if you're expecting something like super unique or like a, you know, just a out of the box type of fragrance, this isn't it. But sometimes you just want a basic regular like buttery, just well executed bakery fragrance. And this fits that bill. So I can't really, you know, take points off for that. But that's pretty much what my thoughts are on coconut shortbread. 
As for the performance, this is, oh, I, I gosh, I don't know, like maybe a seventh burn at this point. I've had it for quite some time. I've been burning it for quite some time as well. Um, and it's doing fine. It has the, you know, usual wicks that we've seen in all these recent four wick ones. I haven't lost a wick or anything, so we're good to go there. Um, it does soot if you don't trim it enough, so I do still trim these to quite small nubs. Um, and it takes a few hours to pull out if you trim it that much, but at least you're not getting a whole lot of soot, so we're good to go there. So nothing to really, uh, you know, report on the performance. It's performing as expected. As for the throw, I would say a medium to a medium plus, anywhere in like the uh, six to a seven range. I can still smell it. It's not like super heavy, uh, but it still travels. So you can still smell it in any room that you put it in. It's like a nice uh, background type of like something is baking in the distance type of fragrance. Uh, so like a good medium to medium plus is where I would put the throw at. So no really qualms with the throw. Sometimes I wish it was just a little bit bolder or stronger. And like, I just want a little bit more of like a buttery, just like, I don't know, just like a super bold presence, kind of like a berry waffle cone from BBW, like on the good variations of those, like that really hits you in the face. I kind of wish this was like just amped up a little bit more, but it's still satisfactory. I can still smell it. So it is what it is. I would say medium to medium plus on the performance and the throw on this one. Overall, it's still a pretty delicious fragrance. Uh, if you like those type of, you know, fragrances that I listed in Lemon Cello Cupcake, Toasted Vanilla Cupcake, or Coconut Cake, and just want a quintessential nice buttery bakery fragrance with just a hint of coconut and a little bit of lemon zest, then check this one out. For me, I just have all three of those previous fragrances still existing in my collection that I don't kind of need like a rehashed version of it in 2021. Uh, so I'm totally fine with just the two that I have that I don't need to repurchase it personally. But that's not to say that it's a bad fragrance. It's quite pleasant, but it's just not something Thing I need to hoard or buy again because I just have so many similar fragrances in my collection. So that's pretty much it. Let me know if you tried this one down in the comments down below and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.